Who was it that helped? Remember the time we, we, we helped Jerry? Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Bill. Tell me it doesn't look like <laughs> It wasn't Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to drink anything that looks Look how Bill is. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Your son? Is Lunacon. Lunacon has Isn't a... Isn't any wonder I love him so much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, a group, there's a group of New York fans, like New York City fans, like really New York City fans. Actually, you would never even know. He's got Asperger's. <laughs> take, take your, take your oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Somebody once said that fandom is, is, is the largest Asperger support is, group in the exactly. world. Exactly. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Now he's pissed. Yes, chocolate things to do. I remember reading up on Asperger's disease for something at work, and, it, and I'm reading the description of Asperger of patient of people who have Asperger's disease, and yeah. I said, "This is most of the people I know." Dad. It's fandom, right? Yeah, you know, try, find a fan that doesn't have Asperger's. It's just like it's much more common than <laughs> what a little baby bottle of water. Yes, but it's, it's little two ounces of water. Yes, but it's Lunacon water. Oh, that's the smallest bottle of water. Did you, did you take the picture, didn't you? No. Where's it's the not video? a picture, it's a video. Hi, Hi Alan. Hi, Suzanne. Hi. Can I have a Having kiss? Have a good Balticon. Um, it was an ABC. It was an ABC, but it was like after. No way. Um, ABC. So what are you drinking? This is orange juice, pineapple juice, rum, and grenadine. Ah. Oh my god. It's <laughs> good. She's cute. Look at this little costume. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hello. You're taking pictures? I'm taking pictures. Oh, there's a. I like to remember this. <laughs> So Bill got offended because I said he's got Asperger's. Oh yeah, he's. I, I, I just asked him. Don't think you don't know what's gonna upset people. I just asked him. I said, "Have you seen Suzanne?" Suzanne, he said, "Yeah, she's in the hallway saying that I have Asperger's." I was pretty much. Do you know a fan that doesn't? A fan that doesn't. Bill, right? What's that? Yeah, that's Bill. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I figured we'd get in touch eventually. Elaine's looking for you. I know. It's uh, okay. She's coming to our house tonight. Hold this. I want to go see some of the parties. Hi. Hi. I can go hold this. You can go see Go ahead. It's for a second. Logic. Hello, hello. <laughs> Is that a radiation detector? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tongue's 3D House of Wax. <laughs> Dr. Tongue's 3D House of Pancakes. <laughs> Because I felt like it. Did he? But I know. But don't you don't want to hurt his feelings? Well, you hurt yeah. his feelings. He, I didn't. He wasn't there. He didn't hear it. <laughs> no, Look, it's a new Canon Soul Catcher. What? Nobody else in the world remembers that John Candy bit from SCTV. Except you. You remember <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. He's a genius. He's just like, <laughs> it's like one of the funniest people of all time. <laughs> Remember when he did that exercise bit when he'd be smoking the cigarette and he'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember he that? Was, uh, Let's see, was he like being a um, horror TV host? I forget. Or was it the Doctor Three D's House of Wax was? But then he also did a bit where he was like uh, this fat guy and he's like in a sweatsuit. Well, he's it, like he's it teaching was, people how to exercise. Doctor Tongue's Three D House, House of, of Wax. Pancakes. Well, there, there there was another one. They did House of Pancakes. Yes. No, they did. Yeah, yes. no, they did. You're he kidding. And, and he had a plate yeah. plate of pancakes on your. I never you saw like that. Some pancakes. I never. Did you see that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> 
But the Johnny, the, 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 the exercise show he was doing as his character Johnny Daniel Larue, Larue, yeah. And and he and he would like you know exercise for about a second and then he could be out of breath, smoking a cigarette. And, and and then and then he's going on and on about Grace House. Various rumors well, you know, about him, and he goes, over, and I'm not gay. No, <laughs> I don't remember. doesn't make a way. Anyway, Charles Lawton was gay, and he was a great actor. And, like, you look over the side, and there's a picture like of Charles Lawton on it. On his wall. So many funny stuff. He was a funny guy, John Gray. He goes, you know, I guess so. How old was he when he died? He's pretty young. I am now. He's in his 40s. Yeah. Early 40s. Early 40s, yeah. 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 He might have been 40. I mean, he was, he was only a few years older than me at the time. <laughs> yeah, because we've been watching some of the episodes, and it's just like... Oh, they are. They're classic. They're still they funny. They're absolutely... The kind they're of ideas dating. that they came up with. <laughs> you know, just the, 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 the combinations of things. Which is really Lola Heatherton. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I want to bear your children. <laughs> yes. yes. Remember that one? I presume you, you, you remember Joey Heatherton. You know, that right, of course. And Lola Fulano was yeah. the combination yeah. of both of them. Oh, yeah, and remember was, our Sammy Maudlin? Oh, the Sammy oh, Maudlin show. show. Yes. The best one was the one where they had, as his guests, Sandler and Young. You know, well, they were Canadian. Were they Canadian? Basically, um, the Ed Sullivan Show back in the 60s had these guys they came on it was Sandler and Young and where they were this Canadian singing duo that would kind of sing duets you know love duets you know to each other really? And, but you know but a man and a woman you no know, it was two, two men but, but you know they, they, they did seem straight but it just seemed odd the way they were singing it and they would this sing these the and one was one was very French and one was a little more Englishy Canadian these were guys singing love songs to each other well they were singing love songs as a duet I mean, oh, they weren't singing them to each other but, but still were, it's bizarre yeah it was still bizarre Excuse me? anyway uh, hello hi oh, they were fodder for being spoofed by SCTV. Say hi. <laughs> How bad is it? What's that? What do you mean? You look good. You look good at film. Okay. Is there something funny to say? No. Oh, okay. A joke? Ho, ho, ho. You know, no jokes. <laughs> They're too long. I know. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Is but it was in the context of a Sammy Mullen show where they had them come on and. And they, they didn't change the names. Well, they did. They did. No, they they were saying they were, no. They were supposed to be Sam and Young. They didn't change Hello? the names. Hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a perfect spoof of these guys. How are you, honey? Good. You look gorgeous as always. Thank you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> But it Anyhow. was a perfect spoof. It was a perfect spoof of this. If you had seen them back in the day, you know, you know. Oh, right. In fact, it was such a But if you had seen them, them, you'd have no idea no, what. No, But as soon as you saw them, if you did, if you, even, if, even when they didn't say that Sam was young, you knew. You knew. But if people didn't know, they really wouldn't get it. Yeah, but uh, like so I it's, said, it's you know, very dated. if you were of a certain age, uh, you would. You got it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and I guess I, I was. Yeah, I, I wonder if like people now that are young, if they've ever seen those old reruns of SCTV. Some of them show up on the second on, uh, on you know on DVD, and there's a time when one of the NBC sta the NBC, sta NBC station in New York was showing real late at night. That was only like maybe like five years ago or so. But uh, it was like any kind of spoof, you know, they were spoofing stuff. Yeah. Which, you know, you may not get if you weren't around. You weren't around, right. Can we put that down somewhere? <laughs> but those guys are very talented. You want me to be unencumbered, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you drinking now? Same thing. But it looks different. That well, looks like a Mai Tai or something. It, uh, it looks like a sunset. It wasn't precise, yeah, it wasn't precise measurements. <laughs> but it actually looks better they were, then. They were running out of grenadine. So you're saying so this is not I the correct way? I might not have used it. But it actually looks grenadine. better. It's actually more... Well, as I drink it, it mixes. So did you say that to him about the Asperger's? Did you? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I did. No wonder he's... 
and, and, and all he did was.